Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release. Today's Wednesday, 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. 12 box pick a team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting into the action, everybody. There's the full fresh case right here. So fresh and so clean. And there's everybody right here for pick your team number one. July the 22nd, Gary, Last Bot Mojo, Red Sox. Thanks to him. Thanks to everyone for getting in. Got a couple more cases that we're gonna do right after this, back to back. In fact, we've got, this is pick your team one, and then we'll have pick your team uh, three actually, which filled before two coming up. We'll go through some more orders and I'm sure we have some other breaks that we can do tonight as well. I know a couple things have sold out. All right, no worries, j Dog. All right, so I guess it's confirmed now, ladies and gentlemen, Mookie Betts. Signed an extension with the Dodgers. 12 years, $365 million. 30 some odd million a year. I'm pretty happy about it. I didn't think, as I was mentioning before I started the video to the crew here, I didn't think that, I didn't think he was gonna sign an extension before the season. I thought he was just gonna be like, I'm just gonna focus on this season right now. All right, there you go. Two autographs, two autographs per box on average. Nice. Hot boxes featuring a number of autographs, five autographs per hot box. That's what we have right there, so pretty cool stuff. Aquino on the cover, even though he's not on the major league squad. Some good stuff, but yeah, I'm, I was surprised about the the bet steal. But hey, I'm glad I'm glad he got it done. Maybe maybe with the sort of financial uncertainty following the pandemic, maybe he was just like, let's just get this done now. Adam was saying he never wants to stay in Boston. Doesn't matter how much we offered him. We had, there were a couple Red Sox fans here that were that were like absolutely, you know, certain that, that it was just, that Mookie was just a rental for the Dodgers and that the Red Sox, after they clear up some money, we're just gonna get him right back. What up, MTG? No, Jake's saying Mookie wanted to stay, just wanted more money. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever really know the truth, but. You know, but if he wanted to stay, why didn't, why didn't he just wait to sign at the end of the season? So maybe he didn't. The fact that he didn't even allow a bidding war to happen. I don't know. What does that indicate? Ooh, these packs open real nice too, by the way. I could set speed records opening these packs. Right, here we go. Hey, there's Mookie Betts right there. 60 out of 76. That sort of patriotic 1776 sort of design. Rolando Bolanos. And my assumption is no veteran commons will ship. Yeah, no vet commons will ship. Obviously everything else will. So like that Francisco Lindor hollow will ship. And we got Willie Castro, our first autograph, rated rookie auto for the Tigers. Christopher Freeze with Detroit. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure. A, a couple, at least. So that's kind of a weird cut right here. Which 
interesting. Someone send that in for grading. See see what see what the what the centering gets. And uh, there's Juan Soto to 150. Nick Madrigal rated prospect hollow. There's Michael King to 199. And there's Brandon McKay, rated rookie autograph. There's an outside chance for this guy to be rookie of the year, maybe? AL rookie of the year, Robert uh, Garicki with that one. Tampa Bay Rays. He can pitch. He can hit. Could be could be valuable. There's Shohei Otani right there. Actually, I need a. Got baseball starting tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We got Yankees playing the Nationals in the earliest game. I guess the first of two games. And then uh, Dodgers Giants will be tomorrow as well. And then I think on Friday we get like the full slate. And I think it'll just be just a full slate of baseball for many days in a row. 60 games. It's going to be quite a sprint. Oh yeah, Jed. Walker Bueller definitely, definitely outpacing Kershaw. Kershaw is really solid, but Walker Bueller is just has that sort of early Kershaw level of dominance. We've got we got Shun Yamaguchi, Donner's autograph for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays still looking for a home. Richard Zitterman. Who are the Blue Jays going to play? Can't play in Canada. I think they were they saying they wanted to they wanted to share the the park with Pittsburgh, and I don't think that worked out. There's Paul Goldschmidt to 199. We'll sleep and top load all those a little bit later. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze through these. There's Mauricio Dubon to 150 for the Giants. George Springer Hollow. Nate Pearson rated prospect. Got Marcus Simeon, pink velocity to 199. And 67 out of 99, Kyle Lewis, orange. Rated rookie autograph for the M's. That's going to be for EA. Nice. I feel like the Mariners, you know, we got a lot of 
Jaspies fans in the Pacific Northwest, I feel like I feel like the M's could look really good in a short period of time. All right, next box. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to avoid, playing in that minor league stadium in Buffalo, but I guess I guess that's what's going to have to happen. Or don't they have a spring training facility that they were also thinking about? So I think I guess they're exploring their minor league options first or their uh, major league options first, maybe some stadium sharing, but I think their Blue Jays first games are on the road. They're at the they're at the uh, they're in Tampa Bay for for a few games. Their first home game wouldn't be until maybe that Nationals. So they have until Wednesday the 29th it looks like before they have to figure it out. So they still have some time but To get that that Liverpool Football Club mask that Kenny Dalglish is wearing. Jack Murphy. That's right. Why, why not just go to just go play Jack Murphy. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, you know, I, I, as most of you know, I enjoy investing. You know, having financial interest in the, in some teams, for investment purposes. So I don't know how how the baseball season is gonna start out. That's out of sixty, Goldschmidt. There's Whit Merrifield to one twenty five for the Royals. There's Yu Chang, rated rookie to 35. So, is it gonna is is the is this restart gonna help pitching more or is this gonna help hitting more? I like guess maybe or is just case by case basis. There's Sam Hillier for the Rockies, Luis Robert to 76, Ozzy Albies to 76. Is this it might be a hot box here, parallel hot box. Eric J with Luis Robert, who I think value has been skyrocketing since he's been hitting dingers. Adbert Alzole, Pink Velocity, on-card autograph for EA and the Cubs. Nice. Not numbered? Yeah, I guess not numbered, but a parallel. We got Ronald Bolanos to 75. For the Friars, oh, sorry, EA knocking out that Adbert Alzley you want to show himself there. There's Jeff McNeil to 199 for the Mets. We got Joey Gallo to 199. There's Mookie Betts right there. It's official apparently. Domingo Leva to 76. Gonna be a Dodger for a long time. Buster Posey to 125. And Dylan Carlson, 19 out of 50. Nice, that's a strong autograph right there. Making good use of the canvas. Rated prospect auto for the Cardinals. Rick Thomas. With the Redbirds. Josh Donaldson to 199. Uh, that's Twins edition of Josh Donaldson. I forgot, I for, almost forgot about that. Travis Demarit for the Tigers to 199. Josh Bell to 199. I'm assuming the stained glasses are a little more shorter printed. I know in other products, other Panini products, these stained glasses do well in the secondary market. 
EA with the Chris Bryant. There's Marcus Simeon to 76. Dark, we'll see what baseball ratings look like if they keep kneeling. I don't think it's going to change. To be honest with you. There's Steven Strasburg, 75. At a 125, Lewis Thorpe. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. Liverpool Football Club, that's my team. They're doing their their celebrations here. Usually this would this would be packed with like eighty thousand fans or something like that, but but they've got the stage set up and everything. They're gonna have to do the confetti explosion and stuff, right? It's pretty funny. Looks like it's a rehearsal. Next box, folks. Good luck. Rafael Devers to 50. And a Luis Robert rated rookie hollow. I don't know if if these are these carry the same secondary market value the way basketball does, but I'm sure with a player like Luis Robert should make a difference. Eric J with the White Sox. White Sox could look really good, really quick, folks. They've got a lot of youngsters on that team. If they all put it together, Jake Rogers, rated rookie autograph for Chris Fries and the Tigers. Yeah, that's what I heard too, John McCall. NFL is going to let some fans come in, maybe a quarter capacity, half. I don't know. However, the, each city wants to do it or each club wants to do it, but mandatory masks. There's Eric Haas, Cleveland signature series for the Indians. Ian. Hollow, Kwon Hyung Kim, 73 out of 99. Andres Munoz for the San Diego Padres. That'll be for Brian Peebles with his Padres. I guess those stained glass are a little more common than I thought. We've got to see a few of them already. Still nice looking. There's Kyle Lewis to 76. And we've got Jalen Davis, my rivals, the Giants rated rookie autograph. That goes to Eric Leal with the Gigantes. Dark Terry saying, Miss, the mythical insert is the one you were telling Jason that looks nice. I don't know if I've seen one of those yet. Or maybe I've passed by it. There's Yoshitomo Satsugo to 125 for the Rays. And Gavin Lux, autograph, yes. 
Rated rookie autograph hollow for the Dodgers. Fred Schultz. Didn't make the major league club, but I'm sure he'll be called up at some point. Came late to camp, looked a little rusty in the field and at the plate. I think, yeah, I think that's the probably the, oh, here's the mythical right here. It looks nice, Bellinger. I think that's the real reason. <laughs> because if, if he gets called up after 20 games, then they get another year of control. So <laughs> that's probably the... Yeah, it's all business. They probably they, that was probably the real reason. Uh huh. Oh, see, yeah, there you go. All right, I eat nachos with the mask. Yeah, I mean that's kind of. I mean, obviously you're taking off your mask when you eat and drink, but isn't that what you do throughout the majority of the game? You're watching the game and you're, always, you're constantly eating and drinking, right? You would think that maybe when you're like in line, standing in line, maybe that's, that's where it's the most crucial. You know, inside a, inside a sort of dark concourse. You know, with not not a lot of air moving through there. When you're in the stadium bowl, though, I suppose that's a little, a little bit safer. Enough. Just blast the AC, I guess. <laughs> or some fans. You can get those, especially if it's an indoor stadium. But I think out there in the stadium bowl should be a little bit safer. Enough air to move around droplets. Some places it'll just be cold enough where they're going to be bundled up anyway. You're going to have your face covered. We just use Just be a natural face covering. All right, next box. Good luck. I think we saw our first parallel hot box. Is this our second? There's Shane Bieber to 76. It might be. Kevin Biggio to 35 for the Blue Jays. Nice. That'll go to Richard Z. So will this. Yamaguchi will go to you too. I don't think we've seen our autograph hotbox. There's O'Neill Cruz, 35 out of 50, rated prospect autograph. Those Pirates colors look nice. The black parallel and the yellow. That will be for Sanford and the Pirates. There's Freddie Freeman to 60. There's Illusions, Shoei Otani. Jalen Davis to 75. Pete Alonzo. How does he do this season? We were always talking about it, yeah, like Pete Alonzo winning MVP. That'd be good for the hobby. There's Aaron Nola to 199. Logan Allen, 50 out of 50. Rated rookie autograph for Cleveland. That'll be for Ian. There's Brian Abreu to 100 for the Astros. There's Tatis Mythical. Austin Meadows to 60. Willie Castro to 150, red, white, and blue. Another red, white, and blue, Eloy Jimenez to 150. There's a Mythical Silver right there, or a Hollow, I guess is what they call in Donner's Optic. That'll ship to Amber. It's a good looking one. Mitch Hanniger to 199. Jet says Alonzo can't get MVP. There's TJ Zook. Sure he can. Is it likely? I don't know. There's John Means to 50. Luis Robert. Donnie Walton to 50. I'm just thinking about what, what's, what's good for the hobby. He was Rookie of the Year last year. Kind of came out of nowhere. A lot of hype. Cards are doing well. There's Hyunjin Ryu for Toronto. There's Logan Webb to 150. So I'm just I'm just rooting for him. 
There's Jonathan Villard, 35. There's Jordan Henderson on TV for my club, Liverpool. About to lift the trophy. Dylan sees to 125. Yeah. Nice Good job, guys. There's the fireworks. There's the confetti. Jet says, I got a black label, Pete Alonzo, so you hope, but you don't think he strikes out too much. Doesn't everybody strike out too much in baseball these days? Oliver with the hollow Bobby Witt Jr. Ooh, big fireworks show. All right, I like that. I bet the entire neighborhood can see that. Jet saying, but there's nothing special about his fielding. He's just really a good home run hitter. Isn't that what the MVP is? No one says, boy, what a good fielder. That's that's an MVP right there. Pete Alonso hits like 290 and bangs in like 20 home runs in a 60 game season. You know? takes the Mets to a playoff spot or even win the division or something like that. Boom, there's your NL MVP right there. Bobby Wood Jr. already playing? Are they gonna start him? Probably not, right? But I mean, yeah, I guess there's no minor league season, so they, reps would be good for him. John Mercer, what's up? Welcome to New Release Day on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're halfway through our uh, first pick your team break of Donruss Optic Baseball. We've got another one coming up right after this. And then we'll go through some more orders and I'm sure a, a bunch of stuff will be sold out by the time I get to that. I did, Sean. I, uh, I, f I found one a PS4 at a Target. Curbsided it. Oh, I've never curbside picked up anything at Target before, but I think that might be a life changer for me. Might do that all the time now, just even post-pandemic. Jalen Davis, Eric Lee on the Giants to 50. I got my NASCAR game, and I got that World War II Call of Duty game that came out a couple of years ago. And... I am pleased as punch. I haven't played it since Sunday. I played it all day Sunday and then work got in the way. Gavin Lux autograph for the Dodgers. Well, at least there was another one that was nicer. Fred Schultz with my Dodgers. Um, I'm going to send you one of these, Fred. I think people say that if you got one of these wrappers, you can call a customer service line. You might be able to get a replacement on that card or something in, re in return. There's Danny Mendick. So this is your uh, autograph This because this is your third auto of the box. He's kind of got cool penmanship, but he didn't really autograph here, did he? That's Eric and the White Sox. It looks like your autograph hot box right here, folks. Should be a couple more autos. There's Michael Chavis. Optic autographs for the Red Sox. Last spot mojo, Gary. And Maurizio Dubon, 32 out of 50. Rated rookie autograph for the Giants. One of their big prospects. Eric Leal. That NASCAR game that I got, which just came out the other week, a lot harder than I thought. 
turns out driving in circles a lot harder than you think. No, I'm a NASCAR fan. I understand it, but I have it on like the easiest levels too. Still difficult. Nolan Arenado, seventy-five. Like you got to, you got to hit the hit hit the lines perfectly. And I'm pretty thought I was pretty good at it, but I'm still like a second behind, like a top ten spot. It's a lot. <laughs> Just got to work on it. It'll be my that'll be my weekend weekend task. <laughs> All right, halfway through this break, folks. Got about another, we're at a good pace here. The pace that I estimated. So we should be done with this in about 30 minutes. I will do an autograph recap at the end. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. I don't know, I'm not a big gamer. So I have, part of the learning curve is also just learning the buttons. <laughs> So I'll be playing the game, or like I'll be playing that the World War II Call of Duty game, and it'll be like, "Hey, press the square button to like do something, or press this button to throw back a, a grenade, or something like that." And I'm looking, I'm like looking at the screen, looking at my controller. Where is that? Click. You know, we're not going to be a professional gamer anytime soon, folks. And then they change like the. I think on a on Nintendo, A is here and B is here, right? And A is the accept button, but the accept button is is the bottom button on a PlayStation controller. And then someone was a buddy of mine was t telling me that uh, that the buttons are also completely different on an Xbox. And I'm just like, what? Why is there no governing body for for game controllers? Let's standardize this. It's so yeah. Will Christian's like, yes, it's so annoying. I feel your pain now. All I had was a switch, and before that, maybe uh, maybe an S S N E S. Before that, I've never owned a GameCube. I've never had an N sixty four. All that. I was just like, so learning the controllers is that thing. I'm just like, I'm like hitting cancel when I want to accept stuff. It's terrible. I, I feel like I spend an entire afternoon just learning the buttons. Games are hard, folks. Ooh. Nice. You want to flip that camera around? Yeah. Don't make people seasick. Oh, you're going to go that way? Yeah. Did we not wear the... Okay, I was afraid we were going to wear the same shirt today. I can't believe you're not watching basketball. Well, i got to watch the Liverpool trophy performance. So Nick's going to help us out in the top camera right here with... Find the box over here. What are all these extra boxes? Where does this come from? Our website boxes. On the cart? Yeah. Certified. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Spectra. Okay. Spectra. I just have to remember they're on here. All right. What else? Dodgers extend Mookie bets. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, Pennsylvania Department of Health will not approve the Blue Jays use of PNC Park. Cardinals will release Brett Cecil. Hunter Dozier test positive for COVID. Brave sign Yolise Chassin. Rays trade uh, Dylan Covey to the Red Sox. Colin McHugh opts out for the 2020 season. Couple couple players going Tommy John surgery. Rockies releasing Brian Shaw, Jake McGee. So on and so forth. Those are those seem to be the top headlines. No more Mazar on the injured list. Mets release Melky Cabrera and Gordon Beckham. Met sign Juan Lagares and Brian Dozier. Royals promoting Brady Singer. Oh, dust off your Brady Singer prospect autographs. And Mark Strom could miss his first scheduled start. There's Jose Altuve to 25. There's your quick baseball news right there. So I guess maybe the stained glass hollows are a little more rare. It's nice Bo Bichette for the uh, Blue Jays, Richard Zitterman. We got Jose Canseco. Eight out of ten. Nice. Gold. Oakland. Ian.
Bobby Bradley, 38 out of 50, rated rookie. That is for Ian and the Indians. Paul Goldschmidt to 125, Cardinals, Rick T with the Redbirds. And we got 68 out of 99, Dylan Cease, rated rookie autograph. That'll be for Eric J. Jet is saying Bo Bichette is honestly going to be a better, it's going to be better than Vladdy this season. Think so? Be interesting. Better half. Yeah, just better, better hitter. Better overall, better win above replacement. It's kind of a nice broad overview. Matt Tice to 199. Yeah, he's a different kind of hitter, right, Bo Bichette? Yeah. Campeones, campeones. All right. What is the where's the other game? I can watch this on YouTube eventually. Yeah. Just wanted to see. I was it. watching Bowl Bowl earlier. The first bit. Got from yeah, Bowl Bowl. Hundred bucks silver. Yeah. Wow. Like Now we got Rui Hachimura, he's going to do the same thing. Yeah, definitely get into the basketball, folks. Ooh, low number here, 6 out of 15, Austin Riley. Austin Riley cooled off considerably after his hot start, but I feel like it's this, this is still a bounce-back candidate, at least hobby-wise. I think baseball-wise he's always going to be solid, but... Get another boost hoppy wise. Jet saying he thinks he's just going to be already done better in hitting and a better defensive player is what Jet's saying. Ronald Acuna Jr. 75. We got Wizards Nuggets. Is it, this is preseason action, right? Scrimmages, nice. In the bubble? Yeah. Wow. Oh, good. Good for them. <laughs> Guess they're following the rules. Boba Shett Hollow, rated rookie Hollow, going to Richard Zitterman. Yeah, there, there, is, there is numbers right there from last year. Blue Jays could be a really nice, could be a really surprising team this year. I hate the fake crowd noise garbage. You don't like the fake crowd noise? They just haven't gotten it right. It's just so... It's lame. There's Matt Chapman for the A's, Ian. I hate the fake fan ones. The fake fan ones. The cardboard? Yeah, I hate them. No, I love those. Those are great. Sheldon Newsy, Oakland A's, Ian. I love it. Cardboard cutouts are great. I don't know what if what if Bubba was a cardboard cutout and sitting <laughs> behind yeah. old plate. Human yeah, some of the pictures are lame. I wish they. I like the idea though. It just looks like they went on Microsoft or on Google and just <laughs> like baseball fans and then printed out a thing. You're saying it looks too generic? Yeah, like they're not. They're wearing a blue hat with no Dodgers logo. <laughs> it's like a stock photo. Yeah. From like Getty Images or something. in a shoebox this year? I feel like they fit, they could fit, I don't know, we'll, we'll keep going. 
Are you pulling the veteran boots? No. But I think in previous years they could fit. They could all fit into a shoe box. But then I got nervous. But I think we can. All right. There's Acuna Jr. Jet says the Jays can't play in minor league games because they said the lighting is not good enough for major league games. There's Christian Yelich. Yeah, bowl, bowl, that slam dunk. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering why not just do minor league parks, but I guess lighting could be an issue. Hmm. So where are they going to play? No, but that, that Jet saying that, that minor league park just doesn't have good enough lighting. Whoa, what's this? Stars and tri Stripes. Clayton Kershaw. That's pretty awesome. I would build a set of this. That's kind of clean. There's no lettering on there, just this picture. That's pretty cool. Fred with the Dodgers. Matt Chapman. Is that a case hit, says Patrick K? All right, so it's, it's a little more, more importante then. And Jason Dominguez, 23 out of 35, rated prospect autograph. That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the New York Yankees. There you go, JT. That's not a bad autograph. Jason Dominguez autograph, not too, not too bad. That is awesome. We'll save that for picture time. And we got Michael Baez right behind him for the Padres. That'll go to Brian Peoples. I like that. I don't know what these parallels are called, but sky blue or Carolina blue, teal, but it's nice. Nice. Three boxes to go. Thank you, Nick. Should be able to save a little bit of time here, and then we'll dive right into another one of these. I just passed by that Wander Franco. That will ship, but I, someone was saying, telling me yesterday, Wander Franco prices are creeping up. There's Yu Chang, rated rookie autograph for the Cleveland Indians, because I think Wander Franco is going to get some playing time this year. Cleveland. Ian with the Indians. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 75. Yeah, I think Jet was mentioning that that the Blue Jays starting rotation is not too shabby either. So if they if everything clicks, if they're ahead of schedule, if they put it all together, it'd be a pretty dangerous team. Car Blaster says that's a Carol they call it Carolina Blue. Aaron Saval, red, white, and blue to one fifty. Isan Diaz and Kwang Hyun Kim for the Cardinals. That'll go to Rick T. I guess in in Korea they do the last names first. It'd be Kim Kwang Hyun. Louis Thorpe and Jose Abreu to one at ninety nine. Daryl Strawberry, the straw man, at the end. All right, two more to go. Callie, what's going on? Chris Freeze wants some more Spencer Torkelton, Torkelson cards in Donner's Optic. There's Clayton Kershaw to 76.
We got Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. Jarrell Taylor on the board with old Sam. Luis Reyes for the Twins, the 76. There's Nate Pearson right there. The next autograph is going to be Nico Herner. Nice. This was a great case. We've got some Gavin Lux's Nico Herner autograph. That Jason Dominguez. EA with the Cubs. This is a potential... He still has rookie eligibility, right? I think he... Potential... NL Rookie of the Year. There's Marcus Simeon to 76. Luis Severino Hollow and George Brett. All right, one more box. One more box. One more box. There's Jake Fraley to 150. Anthony Rizzo to 150. It's our last box here. It's the last couple autographs. Trey Mancini. Stained glass. Bobby Bradley, rated rookie. Kirby Puckett. Randy Otto Zarena. It's got a nice auto. Got a sad face in that auto. Rick T with the Cardinals. Hmm. Yeah, we've got we've got some good win boxes left. We'll add some more to the side. There's rated prospect Wander Franco. That goes to the Rays. That'll be for, you get that base one too, but that'll be for uh, Robert with the Rays. Zach Gallen, one out of five. Nice case. Rated rookie, green. Arthur with the Diamondbacks. There you go, Arthur. Second and final, is that the final autograph or is that one more? But still nice. Yeah, I think this is the second, last autograph of the case. One out of five. And that goes to Arthur Peru and a train whistle. Arthur, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Anthony, you sent us a DM from unopened boxes from 1997 through 2015. We're not really in the business of buying boxes, but it could be a good, good resale for you if you go on eBay. Anthony K. Unless you have any like 2014, 15 Panini Prism Basketball. And there you go, boys and girls. Nice break. Here's a quick recap. Of course, we had that Jason Dominguez was pretty sharp. The out of five, Zach Gallen, Nico Herner in the mix, Yu Chang, the case hit, Clayton Kershaw, Austin Riley, Gold Conseco at a 10. Little uh, dent right there on the Gavin Lux silver, but we'll uh, or hollow in this set. But we'll send a, a UPC code just in case Panini will hook you up with something or maybe a replacement. Michael Chavis, Bobby Witt Jr. Hollow. There's a better Gavin Lux autograph. This one was clean. Nice. So this is a pretty great case. Luis Robert Hollow, Dylan Carlson, Adbert Alzale, Kyle Lewis. Brandon McKay, Willie Castro, once again, that Dominguez was really nice, so there you have it. A little bit of cardboard dust on there, but it looks good. Plus a ton of parallels as well. That was Pick Your Team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.